Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is the 19th video in the series of videos on immunology and in this particular video I want to focus on an important concept of immunology which is known as the immune tolerance and this immune tolerance is actually a mechanism which helps the immune system to uh, discriminate between the self and non-self antigens. Now, in my previous videos, I've told you that there are a specific uh, molecular structures on the surface of the pathogens, uh, which are known as the pathogen associated molecular patterns. And to recognize these uh, PAMPs, there are specific receptors on the host cells, uh, which are known as the uh, pattern recognition receptors. So the pattern recognition receptors, they are going to recognize these uh, PAMPs, which help in the neutralization of the pathogens. But in, I in the previous video, I told you that there is a particular mechanism in immunology, which is known as the generation of diversity. And by that, I mean, I have a detailed discussion on that in my previous video. But uh, briefly, the gener generation of diversity means that the immune cells has the potential to produce uh, PPRDPRRs, these pathogen recognition receptors uh, for almost uh, any pathogen that is uh, out there in the world. But the problem is that one consequence of generation uh, generating these uh, random recognition receptors is that some of these receptors could recognize and target the host cell. Now this is not required. We are not producing these receptors to target the host cells. We are producing these receptors to target the pathogens. Now there is a particular mechanism which ensures that these receptors are only going to interact with the pathogens and not with the target host cells. And this particular phenomena is known as the uh, tolerance or this is sometimes also known as the immune tolerance. So the immune tolerance is actually a mechanism uh, which uh, discriminate between the self and the uh, non-self. Say for example, this is a T cell, it is producing a specific receptors on its surface. This is the B cell which is producing specific receptors on its surface or it is producing these antibodies. So there should be mechanisms that prevent us from these uh, receptors and these receptors do not recognize their own cells they should recognize the pathogens so this particular phenomena where the immune system make a discrimination between the self and the non-self is known as the immune tolerance now the tolerance uh, historically if you see this this tolerance was first proposed by Burnett and Peter uh, back in the 1960 and for this uh, tremendous discovery they were awarded the Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine now what happens is that during this tolerance, the antigen receptors which are present on the developing B and T cells, you should uh, go to my previous video to understand these, uh, that what is happening on these developing B and T cells and how they are going to produce these uh, random receptors. So during the uh, mechanism of the tolerance, these antigen receptors which are present on these developing and B and T cells, first they have to pass a test. And this test is the non-responsiveness against the host structures. Now, during this particular mechanism, so during this tolerance, uh, this process, which actually uh, begins shortly after these randomly generated receptors are produced, is achieved by the destruction or inhibition of any cells that have advantageously generated receptors with the ability to harm the host cell. What that means is that if you have got B cells, that is producing specific receptor on its surface. First, this receptor has to pass a test that this receptor is not interacting with any host cells. It is only interacting with the pathogen. So those particular B or T cells which pass this test, they are not interacting in any way with the host cells. They are actually then introduced into the, uh, you can say circulation. And the one that is interacting with the host cells, they are destroyed or they are inhibited. So this particular phenomena that is happening in, say, for example, uh, uh, for B cells, for the T cells as well. And this successful maintenance of tolerance that ensures that the host always knows the difference between the self and the non-self. Because this is logical. We want our immune system to protect us from the pathogens. We do not want our immune system to damage our own cells. And the immune tolerance or this tolerance phenomena, it is ensuring that immune system has the ability to differentiate between the self and the non-self. 
Now, one recent uh, re-envisioning of how tolerance is operationally maintained uh, is called the danger hypothesis. Now, what this hypothesis say is that uh, the immune system that constantly evaluate each new encounter more for its potential to be dangerous to the host than for whether it is self or not. Now, what this means is that, for example, cell death can have many causes and there can be a variety of reasons uh, which is responsible for the, uh, uh, you can say, uh, death of the cells. For example, there is a natural homeostatic process, the apoptosis, which ensures that those cells which are damaged in the cells, they are properly removed from the body and the components which can be reused, they are reused in the body. Uh, this death can be because of the mechanical damage. Of course, this is not a natural one and the cell death can be because of the infections. So if you talk about this natural homeostatic process, for example, the apoptosis, so that is need of the body. But later too, however, they come with the warning signs that include the release of like intracellular contents, the expression of cellular stress proteins or pathogen specific products because if the cells that is getting killed or that is getting damaged because of the infection or because of any other mechanical force the immune system should get activated now that these products like say for example these intracellular contents these uh, stress proteins or these pathogen specific products they are known as the danger signals and these danger signals what they do is that they can engage specific host recognition molecules like the uh, uh, it will be the pathogen recognition receptors uh, i have a detailed discussion on that in my previous video so these danger signals they are going to engage the host recognition molecules that deliver a signal to immune cells to get involved during this unnatural cause of cellular death now the uh, one of the problem with this uh, immune tolerance is that the unintended consequence of this uh, robust self tolerance is that the immune system frequently ignores the cancerous cells that arise in the body as far as these cancerous cells they express self structures and the immune system uh, that is trained to ignore these self structures so if there is a cancer cell they, produce, they are producing the structure which are very much similar to the uh, structures present on the normal cells so the immune tolerance system is not going to recognize that and that is you can say one of the uh, problems with this uh, robust self tolerance mechanism that these cancerous cells they are going to replicate they are going to increase in their number and the immune system is doing nothing about it because it is recognizing these uh, as self cells not the non self cells now this is like if you talk about this uh, dysfunctional tolerance now, now that is the root cause of like most of the uh, autoimmune diseases for example the rheumatoid arthritis and uh, like one might imagine that the failure in the establishment or maintenance of the tolerance can have uh, devastating uh, clinical outcomes for example like uh, if there is problem with the immune system you can have the uh, problems of the hypersensitivity you can have the uh, problem of the immune deficiency and uh, like both of these like all of these phenomena like the autoimmune diseases the hypersensitivity and the immune deficiency that is going to negatively affect the uh, host cells so this is how the tolerance works so simply the tolerance is going to differentiate between the self and the non-self that is going to act on the non-self that is going to activate the immune system to neutralize that particular non-self structures which are present which are usually present on the is pathogens and it is going to not interact with the self structures because if it is interacting with the self structures can have a variety of the problems autoimmune disease can be one of them so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell do comment on the video and share it with your friend i'll see you in the uh, next video